What's going on guys? This is Justin coming back at you for uh, UFC 137 predictions. Uh, this card has changed up a lot. Uh, it was originally supposed to be George St. Pierre against Nick Diaz for the title. Uh, apparently they couldn't get a hold of Nick Diaz. So uh, they took him off the card, put in Carlos Condit uh, right away. And then, oh look, here comes Nick Diaz back to fight uh, BJ Penn. So kind of interesting uh, turn of events there. I don't know if, uh, you know, I don't really know if I buy the whole story that they couldn't get a hold of him. And then Dana White is really upset with him, didn't know if he would be uh, in the UFC anymore. And then all of a sudden, I guess they get a hold of him and he uh, lands a spot right back onto the card. But regardless, moving on. Uh, I went 0-2 last week in my main card picks uh, at UFC 136. Some good fights, uh, but I am overall 9-10 uh, and 10 right now, so not doing too well uh, overall. But moving on to UFC 137 again. Uh, just going to do the main card as usual. For the welterweight championship, we have George Rush St. Pierre against Carlos Condit. Uh, I do think Carlos Condit is going to be a decent stand-up uh, test for George St. Pierre, but I think we are going to see George St. Pierre take him down, take him down, and take him down some more. And I think George St. Pierre is going to win this. Uh, probably unanimous decision. He doesn't have a... Uh, very high percentage of finishes, especially in his uh, title defenses. So we'll take George St. Pierre to defend his belt for the seventh time in a row. Uh, moving on down the card, uh, the plug and play fight. We have BJ Penn against Nick Diaz. Uh, really interesting fight here. I was checking out the odds a couple minutes ago, and they actually have BJ Penn slotted as a favorite when Nick Diaz was the number one title contender. So that is a really interesting stat. Uh, I will be taking Nick Diaz. I think that, you know, BJ Penn, he's really, you know, he's a really well-rounded fighter. But I just think that uh, Nick Diaz will take this fight, you know, anywhere he wants it to go. He's going to dictate this fight. Uh, I think he has better stand-up than BJ Penn. Although BJ Penn... Uh, Yes, he knocked out Matt Hughes and showed better stand-up, you know. And Nick Diaz has a pretty good ground game as well. Don't know if it's uh, as good as BJ Penn's, but I do think that Nick Diaz will win this fight. Uh, moving on, heavyweight bout, we have Czech Congo against Matt Mitrione. Uh, I will be taking Czech Congo to win this fight. You know, they're both stand-up guys. Uh, I don't really see this fight going to the ground. Czech Congo... Really doesn't go for any takedowns. Uh, if Matt Mitrione starts floundering on his feet, he might try to take it to the ground, but I doubt it. Uh, I just see Czech Congo as a better overall striker than Matt Mitrione. So we'll be taking Czech Congo uh, by knockout in this one. Uh, moving on, another heavyweight battle on the main card. We have Mirko Krokop Filipovic against Roy Big Country Nelson. Uh, Bring him back, Crow Cop. I think this might be one of his last fights. I don't know if he's said anything about it, but, uh, you know, just his past couple of fights have not gone too well. Uh, big country, you know, he has, even though, you know, he is known for taking guys to the ground and putting them in that crucifix and just tapping on their head until uh, the fight's called. Uh, I, you know, he does have stand-up. He showed that in the... Uh, the ultimate fighter finale. So we'll be taking Roy Big Country Nelson to beat Crow Cop in this one. Uh, I think it'll be pretty easy for him if he wants to take it to the ground and just beat him up there. Uh, I don't know if he's going to try to stand with him. That would be interesting. But uh, hopefully he just does take it to the ground. Uh, and then the last fight on the main card is a featherweight bout. We have Hatsu Hioki against George Roop. Uh, I will be taking George Roop to win this fight. Um, you know, he's kind of been spotty on his past uh, couple fights. He won against uh, Josh Crispy. 
Lost to Markomnik. One draw. Lost win. Lost win. Lost. Um, but, you know, I will be taking him. Uh, he has more, like, UFC experience, you know, big fight experience than uh, Hatsu Hiyoki, who has uh, not a lot of, you know, this kind, you know, like the WEC strike force UFC kind of experience. Um, Hiyoki is 24 and 4. Uh, he has won his last four in a row, but. Just going down the list of his past fights, you know, there's nobody that just, you know, shoots out even his losses are complete. I mean, Jong Man Kim, Antonio Carvalho, uh, Machiro Omiyawa, you know, they're just nobodies who have beat him. Um, George Roop, you know, has fought some big names. You know, he's fought Mark Hominick, he's fought uh, Leonard Garcia, he's fought, you know, George Soporadolis, big names. Uh, so I will be taking him to win this fight. I think his experience is going to uh, shine through, and I believe he will finish this fight. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.